Hello, my name is Miguel Moss. My pronouns are he, they. I am a book lover, writer, aspiring author, and I thought it would be a good idea to do the AuthorTube newbie tag. I mostly thought I should do this because I realized over the course of the past two videos, I did do a slight introduction with my name and stuff like that, but I didn't really go into too much depth about me or about the channel. And I decided that I wanted to do a video dedicated to that, and I thought the AuthorTube newbie tag would be a great way to do it. I have seen a bunch of videos, and a lot of them have different questions. Like, there's the 1.0 and then there's the 2.0 and it seems like others have their own set of questions so I ended up just gathering the ones that made the most sense for this video and kind of came up with a few of my own and so we're gonna go through that list. I have my laptop next to me over here on a desk that isn't actually a desk it's a big storage case for that's empty but used to be used for vinyl records. I have my laptop over there with the questions on it. So if you see me looking over there, I'm looking at the questions. I might cut that out, we'll see. Before we get to any of the questions, I do wanna start out with, no, I am not wearing sunglasses indoors. Yes, these are my real glasses because I know I'm gonna get that, why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? Like a million billion times over the course of this channel's lifespan. Um, and I wanna get that out of the way before anyone it's like, why are you doing that? Because I get that question all the time. Uh, on to the, the, the actual questions now. So how did I find AuthorTube is I guess where I should start. I found AuthorTube through a channel called Bookish Pixie. Um, and that was years and years ago. And that was kind of the only booktube or, or author tube, yeah, author tube channel that I watched for a really long time, uh, for years and years. And that was kind of it for a long time up until about COVID. And I started having time to invest in reading and in writing. And I started writing my own stories and reading a lot more. And I ended up I'm not sure where I went from there. Um, I really don't know. I honestly do not remember. I think I was just absorbing so much writing and reading content at the time that it kind of all just blends together in my head. And I honestly don't know what channel it was or what channels it was. I just sort of, I think I was just trying to learn how to write and I just searched it into YouTube and was like, YouTube, teach me how to write. <laughs> and so I've learned most of my writing from random author tube videos that I found um, in like 2020 and 2021. The next question is, why did you start writing? I didn't start writing until recently, but I've been telling stories for a very long time, uh, which is maybe a bit of a cliche thing to say. Um, but a story will like come to me in my head and it will just take hold and it will be the only thing I can think about. Um, and so how I got those out in, you know, the early days was through drawing and stuff like that, um, because I was not a particularly strong reader and writer. Um, and after I got my glasses and after I had people to actually invest time and teach me how to read better and write better as well as um you know uh, having time during lockdown to learn on my own um i actually started writing them down and working on them and since then i've written i think two books that i loved so much but will never see the light of day i'm so glad i wrote them they taught me so much but no one will ever read them uh and then uh, several short stories and a lot of poetry and a lot of things I really loved. The next question is why did you start this channel? And I started this channel as a way to document what will hopefully be my journey to authordom. Authordom? I don't know. <laughs> One day. Um, and also to document the road to get there and all of the things I find that I love along the way. 
I didn't realize that this was my dream until very, very recently, which is hilarious because it was always the thing that I loved the most, but I didn't really see it as something I could do until I started doing it seriously. And then I realized that this is what I want to do. This is what I love. And this channel is meant to document those things. The next question is, what genres do you write in? Now, this one is a little bit complicated um, because I am horrible at sticking to a genre. Everything I write is in a different genre than the thing I wrote before. And I'm starting to get better at like figuring out what I want to focus on, I think. But I am horrible, horrible at focusing on something for an extended period of time. My brain needs new things all of the time and like new information and new things and just it can't focus on one thing. And so I wish I could be a person who was like, I only I love fantasy or oh I love sci-fi or oh I love this thing but I'm like I just want to do it all which I know is a bit of a problem uh and I've written in mostly YA is mostly what I do it's mostly what I read it's mostly what I enjoy um but within that I've written fantasy contemporary historical um horror recently thrillery horrory um short stories um, and I am currently working on a YA dystopian novel, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> so I write in just about every genre. Um, hopefully one day I will whittle it down to like what I really want to do and what I really want to focus on. But for now, I will write just about anything if it is where the dopamine is going. The next one I have written down over there is... Um, what genre will you not write in? And I think the previous question answered this one, which is, I would probably write just about anything. I don't know if there's something I wouldn't write. Um, I mean, maybe there is, but I don't want to say no, because I know the second I say I'm not going to write this thing, I'm going to be like, but now I want to do it. Now I want to write it. Like, now I have to write it. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to write anything because I know the second I say I'm not going to write it, I'm going to do it. Now, what is my current work in progress? My current work in progress, I alluded to it earlier, is a YA dystopian novel that I actually told myself I wasn't going to write. I was so worried about going into this year with how busy I was going to be with graduating and applying to university and jobs and all that stuff. And I just, I told myself in December that I wasn't going to write another book this year and that I was going to focus on short stories and poetry that I could get done in reasonable amount of times around my schedule. And I think that lasted two weeks <laughs> before I was looking back through my old notes for story ideas. And I saw this one and I was like, but I want, but I, but I could make it, but I could do it. Right. And so here we are, and I'm writing a YA dystopian novel. It's my first dystopian novel that I'm working on, and I'm super excited to see how it goes. I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but that's kind of how I do everything is I figure it out as I go. It currently doesn't have a name yet, and I'm still working on trying to get that figured out. I'm so bad at explaining the things I'm writing if I'm not looking at, if I'm not reading it. So I might just read it, like read this little short thing I've written for it, um, because I've tried a couple of times to explain the thing to the camera, and I can't, I just, I get a camera put in my face and I get nervous and I don't talk to it because I might just read it. Okay, I'm going to try and read this little blurby thing I've written down. I am not the best at reading out loud. I'm a lot better at reading in my head. So I'm going to try my best. I might have to try this a few times. 18-year-old Alexander has spent most of his life looking over his shoulder. By the time Alexander was old enough to know he was a seer, he already knew it was something you didn't talk about. The wrong person finding out would be a death sentence. The first seer was probably born in a hospital with parents who loved them, 
just happy their little bundle of joy was healthy, or at least that's what Alexander would like to think. Their parents would not have known they were a seer until they were old enough to speak. It started with stories in local papers of children telling their parents not to go to work that day, only for their office to burn down, or tell them that buying lettuce was a bad idea, only later to find out that there had been an E. coli outbreak. Then they started predicting the stock market, presidential elections, the outcomes of wars, and even assassinations. The first laws making seeing illegal were passed after only 10 years, and by the time the oldest seers had turned 20, seeing was punishable by death in most of the world. The problem was that it was it's almost impossible to tell a seer apart from another person. People began turning each other into the government. Neighbor turned on neighbor, parent turned on child. Alex was always grateful. His abilities never stretched past seeing more than a few hours into the future. That is, until he sees his family's murder and must track down the killer while running from the law. So yeah, all of that is subject to change. That might not be exactly what it ends up being, but that is basically the vague idea of it for now. Um, and I, it's an idea I've been sitting on for forever, and I hadn't necessarily done anything with it for a long time. Like, I think I wrote the outline and plotted it out like five months ago, and then just sat and didn't do anything with it for a while. Um, and then I looked back at it and I was like, actually, this is a lot better than I thought it was. So why not write it? The final question on this list is, what are my future publishing goals? Do I want to be published? Do I not want to be published? Do I want to be traditional? Do I want to self-publish? And for a long time, I thought I wanted to do traditional publishing. That was the goal for a very, very long time because I have a lot of really bad anxiety and I was so afraid of dealing with the like more businessy side of self-publishing. And so I thought, I'll just go traditional. I'll just do traditional so I won't have to think about it. And when I actually looked into it, I surprisingly really enjoy the business side of self-publishing um, along with the writing. And I realized only within the past few months that uh, self-publishing was what I wanted to do. And it's the goal, hopefully. You know, maybe not with this book, but maybe with another one. I mean, hopefully with this book. Um, but even if it's not this book, even if it's a different book, um, that's the goal to one day be self-published and to hopefully have a long career in self-publishing one day, eventually. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, those were all of the questions that I had written down for this video for the author newbie tag. I hope I did it right. I don't really know what I'm doing on YouTube. I am trying to get better at it. I enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I hope you'll be back here for the next video.